In the final technique that I'd like to demonstrate, we're going to catalytically oxidize methane. This setup here will allow us to do this. I've got two syringes, one of them filled with some methane. In the middle here, I've got a catalytic converter. Um, this is available from Educational Innovations, and it's sealed in a glass tube. It's a ceramic material with some palladium uh, on the surface. And here is the receiver syringe over here, so we can pass the gases through. We may end up going back and forth, in fact. Um, and we can tell when the reaction's over because water vapor is made. Um, what we'd like, we want to make sure that the plungers have been lubricated before, during the setup, I mean, and, and they have. The only thing that's left to do is uh, we want to react the methane with oxygen, uh, not pure oxygen, but just the oxygen from the air. Uh, with oxygen, the, the reaction would be explosive. So I'm simply going to take and open this up and pull air into this syringe and then connect it back up. The catalyst, when it comes from educational innovations, is usually a light tan in color. And uh, that's, uh, in order for the catalyst to work, we have to activate it by heating it. Uh, and that'll somehow reduce the palladium to palladium atoms, elemental palladium. So we'll heat the catalyst. Again, it's best if the two syringes are not bound tightly, so we can kind of rotate the system. And in less than a minute, the catalyst will darken, and then we can perform the reaction. This is definitely the kind of experiment that works best with a lab partner. You can see the catalyst starting to darken. At this point, let's just increase the gas a little bit. We don't want any soft spots in the glass, so we can't heat it too much. And now let's pass the gas through. I'll, I'll even remove the flame for this, see if that works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And on the right, we can see the products uh, are cloudy. So that's water vapor that's condensed from the oxidation. If this doesn't occur, then simply continue heating. Uh, it did occur this time, but if it, di if it didn't for some reason, continue heating and pass the gas backwards through the converter. But this time you can see, um, in addition to the water vapor in the syringe, you can see water condensing in the stem of the catalytic converter. So it's a very nice device, and it can be used to catalytically oxidize um, all sorts of hydrocarbons, always reacting them with air. It can also be used to catalytically hydrogenate ethene, turning it into ethane. Um, the next thing I would do in a laboratory setting with students is to take the gas that's collected and bubble it through lime water to confirm that carbon dioxide was made or inject it through a gas chromatograph and then notice carbon dioxide. Thank you and enjoy your experiments with microscale gas chemistry.